What's up guys? So we bought a uh, rig tough truck parts air gun kit for the flatbed so we can blow out all the crap in here. Or at least I can blow it up. Uh, I don't want to keep having to take out a 50 foot hose, then unravel it, ravel it up again, and all that other crap. Uh, so this hose just connects here. Now normally I would be using the correct tools because I'd be at the shop or my house but right now I am stuck in a Dollar General parking lot because there was a huge wreck uh, over here so there was a Chevy pickup that's on that side was coming this way in, and was in the turning lane getting ready to turn left and then that truck was coming this way and they crashed and the truck went flying that way that truck hit the telephone pole or the electrical pole and it's just a nightmare um, so I'm gonna continue doing this because I'll be stuck here for a few hours with nowhere to go there's only one way in and one way out so you could squeeze this in with a channel logs vice grip whatever just squeeze that in like that it will release the line Might want to do that when you air out the line. <laughs> if, you, if you fill the seat up, then the air will stay in because this valve has to be pushed down to release the seat. So it'll hold the seat up. There's another kit that I like. Um, it pretty much comes with, um, where does that piece of go in there? Maybe this one's different. So the other one, the other one that I like is just a quick release like that. Like this fitting here where you just squeeze it and then it releases. Um, so let's put this nut on here. And hopefully that'll just, well it's got the ball on there so. Put the airline on there and force it on. The other one's nice because it's just a quick release. You just push it in and the line's in and that's it. It's done. All right, make sure that the line is all the way on. And then put the nut on and tighten it. You buy the one that has the quick release fitting then you'll be done in seconds Yeah, the other one with the quick release, it's one, two, three. You'll be done in not even two minutes. So this has a little flange on it. You want to put the line over it. Make sure that you're fully on. Come on, nut. You don't want to go so far back. Alright, 
I'll turn the truck on, let it air up. Now you'll be able to blow out the truck. Comes with two different nozzles. That's it. And when you put it down, just make sure that you tuck it somewhere where it's not going to get pinched and crushed. I'm probably going to get a new line, probably like a two feet long line or two foot long line. Cut this here, put a connection here, this one again like this, and then extend it back that way so that it's in the back. I'd rather have this fitting back here. So just to make sure it doesn't get like crushed. So you can blow everything out. Don't mind the mess, that's not for me. I spent countless, well not countless, I, I spent probably a good 10 hours detailing the inside of the truck. Um, and of course, you know, other people don't clean up after themselves. Which is why I'm adding this, so I can just blow it out real quick. But just so you see that it works. Now you want to cool yourself down. All right, so shut the truck off. Now that the truck's off, what you can do as well with this, um, let's say you don't have like an airline for air chuck and all that crap, you can change this fitting. Just take this out and then get a quick release air fitting um, like you would at a mechanic shop. And then you can get a, um, you can get a, a connection like this. So now if you have a customer's car that you need to put air in the tire, if you have the quick release fitting, you can just put the air chuck on that, and then this extends. Uh, this is how long is this? Uh, 60 inch, 60 inch by quarter inch. So this is a 60 inch line. So you can go and take somebody's spare tire, fill it up, and then take the chuck off, and then just put that back. And that's pretty much it. All right, so. Now I got something to blow out the cab, and like I said, if you wanted to, you can just swap that out and put an air quick release fitting here, and then you could have something to blow out the truck. You could have something to put air in the tires, um, stuff like that, because some trucks do have this set up, but don't have like an air tank set up um, for like, you know, filling up tires and stuff. So if you want to do something quick without going into the air tank, you can just tie into the seat and then, you know, use that. That's what I did when I was working at Breen Bros. Um, I put one of these in with the quick release setting and then I had an air chalk. Every time I had a customer's car, I'd change the tire, I'd move it over here, fill it up, put all my stuff back, put the tire on, and be done. All right, hope that was helpful for anyone. This could be with any truck that has an air seat. All right.